Hello and welcome to the National Print Gallery. As we enter through the door here into the vestibule, we see the first floor by artist Darren Caulfield. A wonderful stencil print called Skull, featuring his signature style of the inverted face. Over here, past the staff room, past the disabled toilets, and we go into the main gallery. And here's the, the main wall of pen and ink drawings. Which, uh, but before we go there, let's just turn round to the left. And what's this? Oh, three bottles of Darkoff's Face Off Fizz. Specially created for the National Print Gallery. My goodness, let's see what it says on this. Fitzrovia Fizz. A cheeky little wine specially created by the Fitzrovia Flaneur to excite the jaded palate of art lovers, stimulate their powers of connoisseurship, and promote the desire to purchase the stunning art of Darren Caulfield, a.k.a. Darkoff. This wine should be drunk in copious amounts to encourage a lively debate on the art that surrounds you and, 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 and encourage you to make obsequious compliments to the artist. The National Print Gallery is a drink unaware zone. Wow, what's that? Come around here. Here's the permanent collection. A little watercolour by Jamie Shovlin. And, and here's the minimal Christmas decoration. Over here we have the National Print Gallery and Library. And down below that, two beautiful little paintings by Caulfield, each about eight inches by six inches, and again featuring his, his signature style. Coming around onto the main south wall, we have the, uh, the project space featuring a, um, an interesting little installation by a South American artist featuring two Barbie dolls, a reindeer and a polar bear. And above here, above the flower bucket there, we have this stunning painting. And there he is, Dirk Bogart, staring off into the middle distance. Or is it Dirk Bogart? Because with his face inverted like that, it's hard to tell. Over here, the archive. And below that, three more small paintings by Darren Caulfield. Caulfield addresses the whole idea of identity and facial perception, how we perceive each other, how we look at each other, considerations about beauty, about normality. And in this in our current culture, the whole idea of faces, we have Facebook, we have face recognition systems, we have cameras that recognise one's face. It's a very interesting idea. Here are the beautiful original shutters of this uh, 1795 building, designed by Adam, who designed Fitzroy Square around the corner. Now this is interesting. This is a little, uh, um, little sculpture in plasticine in the vitrine, exploring the same ideas as the inverted face. Over here, and this is where we have our audio guides, um, where you, you can go from piece to piece and get a, an account. And here we have the Internet Centre. And above the Internet Centre, the main exhibition space. And here, a really quite stunning display of 14 pen and ink drawings. All based on, uh, on, on, on old, sometimes movie stars, sometimes just unknown people who, 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 whose features uh, interested the artist. You may recognise some of these. Let's have a look over here. There's James Mason. Bob Hope. Christopher Reeve as Superman. Sir John Mills. There's Dirk Bogart again, staring out. And they're all the more severe Dirk Bogart here. And up at the top right here we have Stuart Granger. Here's some books on the subject. A wonderful science fiction piece from 1960 by L.P. Harshley. That's Facial Justice. Future Face. In the Eye of the Beholder. The Science of Face Perception. And some more dog off face off fizz here. And then we come to this really quite quite stunning and arresting new image that uh, Darren Caulfield has made. This is a screen print in an edition of 25, modestly priced at £195 of Cary Grant. Some 
Pablo's gone to hear some other paintings. Here's, here's Pablo, Adolf, and Christopher Reeve. And this particular painting, of which this is a postcard, was in the John Moores exhibition in 2010. And these are all in the gallery gift shop. So, as we leave the National Print Gallery, uh, we hope you enjoyed your tour and that you'll come again soon. And please don't forget, 